Hello everybody. I had a little bet that I'm going to receive this question on the first day that we start doing those uh, you know, Q&As online and here it is, uh, several of you uh, would like me to share with you a drill or an exercise, something fun to do at home to improve the ball toss on the surf. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can do at home. Let me put this aside, grab a tennis ball and um, Let's not philosophize too much. Uh, what we want to do is to have the ball moving straight up and down and to reach a good height so we can, you know, hit a good serve at a consistent contact point. So when we toss the ball, our non-dominant hand moves up and down, right, from the thighs all the way up to the head. So the motion is an arc, right? And then if we release the ball somewhere here where the arm is parallel or somewhere, you know, between the shoulder and the eyesight, then the ball tends to go straight up, right? From here, go straight up. If I release it around my eyesight, my ceiling's a little short. I'm gonna go to my knees, all right? So my arm goes up and down in an arc, and my ball goes up and down. So a good way to practice this, you can go onto your knees, right? And toss the ball straight up, straight down. A good way to practice your timing of the release of the ball is to get actually closer to a surface like the window here, right? When the ball is right next to the window, and then if you do it right, the ball will move parallel to the window, right? But if you are early, if you release the ball early before it reaches parallel, the ball is going to bounce off the wall or off the window. If you release it late, it's going to go behind you, right? So you really want to spend a little time in the convenience of your homes of just tossing the ball and try to have it parallel to the surface like a wall or a window. If this is hard for you on your knees, you can grab a chair. Again, position yourself close to the window, arm length away, and you're trying, oh, I have a beam there, and you're trying to toss it up and down without fidgeting too much with the body, without moving the body, and you're trying to following the ball flight with your eyes. So the arm moves from the bottom to the top, and you're just releasing the ball in the middle. Uh, you can challenge yourself, see how many times you can toss the ball up and down without dropping it, without moving the body, and I'll post you know, your best score. And the other thing is about height. How high do I need to have toss the ball so I have a good contact point? And, uh, you know, it takes a little time for the racket to go all the way up to my contact point. So I need to toss the ball a little higher than my tallest reach with my racket. So if I'm over here and I do my serving motion and I reach, this is the highest that I can reach. Like shoulders are high, the racket is up. So I'm reaching right above where the beam is. So I need to be able to toss the ball consistently right up to my ceiling actually and um, then catch it. So for me personally, an exercise will be how high I can get the ball up close to the ceiling without really touching it, right? Good. So I can really practice the height of my tosses and the consistency of my tosses. So those are the two things that you can do at home, whether sitting in a chair or on the floor. Of course, if you have high ceilings, you can stand up, right? And you just practice releasing the ball in the middle of the arc that the arm creates from the beginning to the end. I hope this helps, and then if you have comments or questions about it or about something else, keep them coming, and I will try to help you as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.